Okay guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm here to tell you guys again, as you guys have seen in my previous videos, you can start a cargo van business without a cargo van. So again, the things that I'm gonna say in this video are in no mean to diss anybody. I'm a big fan of all of these content creators we're gonna talk about, but I have noticed a certain trend that I feel like I need to go over with you guys. So recently, if you guys have seen in the gig economy cargo van YouTube space, a lot of those, uh, the big gig YouTubers like Cars and Cribs, uh, gig geezer, um, just different people have been talking about and going over very real thing is that it's slowing down in the industry right now. The last like week or so, um, in some of their recent videos, they haven't been making uh, their goals. They haven't been hitting their goals that they have set for themselves. A lot of times, those guys in cargo vans, they want to be and kind of needs to be making about five hundred dollars a day. But I even saw in, like uh, Cars and Cribs last two videos, he's made around like one hundred and fifty dollars in his cargo van during the day. Guys, today. On my route, uh, what's today? December, December fourteenth. At the time of filming this, I went out in my SUV and I made two hundred and forty dollars. So. I'm just here to let you guys know you can have a cargo van business, quote unquote, without actually having a cargo van. There's so many loads that are out there that need to be delivered, and I'm gonna go over my exact itinerary about how I made that amount today in my SUV. Um, just a little backstory too. I have a Dodge Journey SUV. It's a three-row SUV. Guys, you don't need to have anything too big or too crazy. I literally bought my SUV outright for $7,500. $7,500, I bought it outright, so I don't have a car payment. My insurance is like only 150 or 160 bucks a month. Guys, there's money out there. Um, yeah, my overhead isn't the same like how these guys that have cargo vans, they have to pay for their van payments. They have to pay for commercial insurance. I don't have any of that, and I've only been working, well, today I only worked off of gig apps. I do have two contracts as well, but I'll save that for another video. I started my day off at 7 a.m. this morning. I had a pickup uh, around mid-city in LA. I picked up at Dunkin' Donuts. I took it to USC, the University of Southern California. For that order, I received $36. It was, I wanna say, it probably was about only like three miles between Dunkin' Donuts and the USC, but overall, my total mileage to get down there was probably around like eight miles. And I made $36, but when I got to the Dunkin' Donuts, they were running behind, so I actually got weight pay, which added $9 to that. So that made it $45 I got for that order as a catering order. I know, again, just the cool thing about gig apps, guys, is that you kind of get to control your day. So between this, I actually had a scheduled route uh, through the Metrobi app uh, from like two days ago that I had already booked, but there was about like an hour, hour and a half of downtime. So I went, I got me some food, and another order came up on the Rapidus app. So Rapidus is kind of like freight. It's not in every market, but it is out here in LA, California. So I had a two mile route. It took literally like 20 minutes to do it, guys. And I got $20 off of it. So for two miles, 20 minutes, I made a quick $20. Then I went to my Metrobi route. The Metrobi route altogether here, it's saying it was about 56 miles, but to me, it felt like it was more. So I had to do more going back and forth. So let's just say, let's round it up to like about 80 or 70 miles for the whole trip, 70, 80 miles, I made $160. But that's including that um, there was one customer that wasn't home, so I had to make a return trip back down to Culver City to return a box. <clears throat> and I had to deliver also to Walt Disney Studios, and that was such a hassle having to go to like building the building. I had to go get like the packages x-rayed and take them to a whole other building. So I contacted Metrobi and told them that my rate needed to be adjusted, and they actually did it. That's another thing, guys, when you're working with these apps, make sure you're being compensated. Because today, I made an extra, originally this rate was 125 for Metrobi. So um, from having to go back and then getting that uh, wait pay, not wait pay time, but the time from having to run all around Walt Disney Studios, I got an extra, what's that, $35 on top of it. And then again, for my cartwheel earlier, for my cartwheel order from earlier, I got an extra almost $10 in wait pay. So make sure you guys are utilizing that. Also, after I first picked up my Metrobi order, I actually um, stacked orders. So I had another catering gig through, um, I said Cartwheel before guys, but the actual company is called Red Wagon Delivers. They just do it through the Cartwheel app, but you actually would have to sign up through Red Wagon Delivers online. Um, they're in a lot of different markets. I will say go check it out guys. But I had another order with them where I had to deliver. It was in Culver City, again, only about a two mile trip. It took literally like maybe 30 minutes to do the whole thing and I made $20 off of that, so I'll put a screenshot up of that as well. 
So yeah, guys, from all of that, all of my trips, all of my orders today, I literally made $240. Now, mind you, between the downtime, between some of the apps and having to go back to um, the warehouse to do a return drop off from Metrobi, I will say, guys, I left my house at 7 a.m. this morning and I didn't get back to 5 p.m. But then I also stopped by the store too. So I probably was working for a total of about eight hours and then you know, seven, eight hours and then had downtime for about two to three hours. So I was out for about 10 hours today though, guys. That's why I'm so tired right now. But yeah, $240. And again, guys, I just started this business about a month and a half ish ago. Um, so yeah, it's possible. I want to let you guys know you can go out there and do it. You can have these two hundred forty dollars days. I haven't hit a, I haven't hit a full three hundred dollars day yet, or have I? I don't think I've hit a three hundred dollars day yet, but I can feel it coming very soon. So, guys, um, just wanted to let you guys know how the business is going. Give you guys an update. Let you know that you can get into the cargo van business without having a cargo van. Be smart about it, guys. Don't go above your means. Don't go out there and get a van payment, getting commercial insurance when you're not when you're not even sure if you would like the industry. When you're not even sure if you would like driving. We're not even when you're not even sure if it would be for you. So, um, just want to give you guys some more encouragement, some more motivation. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. Drop a comment down below. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I love you guys. I'll be back very soon.